Hello and welcome. You made it to Friday. Thank God it's Friday. You know who I am. You know who you are. You know what that is. You can watch live if you want to. You also know that you can watch it after that on Periscope if you want to. If you don't, hey, I'm happy to see you come to the website cnyweathertainment.com. You know about Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr. If you're curious, you want to write it down. It's CNY Jeff Matthews. You can join in, spread the gospel of weathertainment. And also enjoy the show, because there are numerous things that I do on all these forms of social media to engage not only the kids, the adults, but the kids too. Temp trend. 35 for Friday, a little warmer for Saturday, and then colder for Sunday. And there'll be a bit of a stiff wind too. So the 28 is going to be cold, and it'll feel even colder. And as you can tell, looks like next week, second week of February, those temps are going to be a bit retarded back below the current average of 30 or not much above, if at all. So be prepared for a little more winter coming our way. TGIF, thank God it's Fair Friday. Snow later Saturday and Saturday evening, I would ballpark it at 1 to 3 inches. You're getting that information way in advance. Colder and busier next week. So not only are the temps going down, but weather systems will be coming through fairly quickly with multiple chances, and it's going to be below freezing, so you get the type of precipitation. There's the old cold front off the coast. There's now a secondary that's formed, and I anticipated that because I expected the clouds would be tough to shake along the coast for Thursday and even into early Friday before much of the sun busts through there. We've been in the battleground here between weather systems where there's not really a big area of high pressure. It's just relatively higher pressure. It's not like it's a big bubble, no trouble. It's just a patch of fairer air. But since the air passes over the lakes, you still generate a few clouds. But it's still going to be fair for your Friday and Friday night before this little weather maker. And you can see it's not very big. It doesn't have much moisture because you don't see any blue or dark blue. Before that swings through, and you can see it even better on the water vapor imagery. This is enhancement here, the dark blue. There is none with the next one. So it's just a light snowmaker. All right, radar map shows the heavy rain along the coast moving through Florida. We just have the lakes flakes that are calming down. Here comes the next little weather maker. So after at least a partly, if not mostly, sunny Friday, and maybe even a pretty bright start to Saturday, that'll fade by late morning. Then by mid-afternoon, here it comes, the next weather maker, and that shakes out some flakes. Afternoon, after 2 o'clock, I would say, roughly, into the evening hours, again about 1 to 3 inches. There's my forecast for your Thursday, 42.36. It turned out 45.36. Happy camper! You must be too. Five hundreds was from the leftover Wednesday night into early, early Thursday morning. 10.06 on the daylight. Loving every minute of it. And there's two more coming today. Back with your forecast in a moment. Hey, Coach, we need you in the team now. Yeah, yeah, give me a second. I've got to check my weather team. Hey, Coach, what play are we going to run off the face off this time? Hey, I'll tell you in a second. I've got to check my weather team. TGIF forecast, again, not necessarily pristine because there's not a really a big area of high pressure moving in, but the relative higher pressure leaves us with a mostly sunny forecast in 35. Should be a pretty clear night Friday night, low 20s, so colder. And then Saturday, early sun clouding up, p.m. evening snow about 1 to 3 inches, a high before the snow strikes of about 38 degrees. Your five-day forecast, we've covered the bright Friday, the increasing clouds and snow Saturday. Sunday, in between systems, we'll say partly sunny. Monday, mainly cloudy, and there's a possibility for some intermittent light snow, but a coastal storm could bring us more substantial snow for Tuesday, it looks like, with highs again around 30 degrees. That's a check of your seven-day forecast. Spread the gospel and make it a great day.